This show is sponsored by Axe Broadheads, Millennium Tree Stands, The Chase Deer Scent, Extreme Archery Products, Antler Insanity. Welcome to Frog's Taxidermy Adventures. Today we're going to be taking the shield off of a wild boar. Welcome to Frog's Taxidermy Adventures. I am Frog Mullis. I was born and raised in Middle Georgia, and in that time, I have hunted most everything that walks the woods. I'm the owner of Frog's Buckshot Taxidermy, so you can see that wildlife of Georgia is my life. If I am not mounting a trophy for someone, then I might pursue one of my own. So come join me in my adventures. All right, we got a, a hog shield here. Got the hide. Actually, I cut the head off of it. I'm using the head to build some parts with it. So uh, it's just basically it's just a, the skin without the head on it. But uh, I was going to show y'all how to take the shield off. Uh, it ain't the biggest, thickest shield. But a lot of times these thin are a lot harder than the, the bigger ones. So, uh, but they all come off about the same way. So, uh, I get a, a good sharp draw knife and sharp being a, a very important word on that. And I just kind of lay it out. Uh, usually on the top and the bottom, it don't have a shield. Uh, you got a soft spot down the center and it's soft on the bottom. And then I just kind of lay it sideways on the, the beam and just start going with a, a downward side to side motion. And just just whack away, keep taking little by little. Usually, kind of the indicator, these little spots that you see right here, usually when you start seeing that, that's, that's where you want to get to. down as clean as you want to. Usually what we do is uh, we just kind of take it down, get it pretty close, and then we get on the flesh machine and uh, clean it on up. don't want to get it too close. If you get it too close, uh, you cut them hair follicles, that hair is coming out, especially on the top of the, the back. Uh, that's one spot that you don't want to get too close is right along the top of the back because if you cut that, that's going to come out. That's one of the worst places that you want to have hair missing on the mount is right along the top.
you can pick at it, get it clean as you want to. That's usually about as clean as I get mine before I get on it with the flesh machine. So, uh, got just a little bit more on this side. This, this is kind of getting to the to that top side. Right here is the, the top part. Uh, that's where you don't want to uh, get it too too short because you will lose hair right there if you if you cut through them follicles. That pretty much, uh, as far as the shield, that one side from top to bottom, uh, that's pretty much, like I say, if you're going to tan it, you can put it in a pickle. Once you get everything cleaned up, as far as this, uh, when you take it out of the pickle, run it over your flesh machine, or if you want to go ahead and flesh that a uh, little bit off with your uh, flesh machine, you can do that. I'm going to do the other side and we got a big nasty puss pocket right there. Okay, we got that infection spot kind of cleaned out there, but uh, fixing to do the other side. Uh, that's the top, there's the bottom, so that's the shield. Uh, Kind of nasty, do them boars? They live a mean life out there. They have a tough life, by all the fighting and getting chased by dogs and hunters, and so they don't they don't get too many breaks in their life. Something's always after them. But that's pretty much. About as clean as I normally get it before I put it on the flesh and wheel. So, uh, didn't take that long. So, uh, everybody frets over the shields. Get you a good draw knife. Get you a fleshing beam. Go with that side to side motion, pushing down. Just, just work everything off. Just don't cut it, cut it too short. Thanks for watching Frost Taxidermy Adventures. Stay tuned for more webisodes. If you like this show, check out our other shows at hunt365.tv.